if you watch my channel a lot, you've seen I've built tons and tons of custom blasters, and a lot of them are based on the M4A1 platform, whether that's a Gen 8 or a Gen 8.5. And because of that, I have tons of those handguards laying around. I've been trying to find ways recently to utilize a lot of pieces I have on hand to make some cool custom blasters. So that's what I got going on here. This is actually the Gel Blaster Gun Special Model. It's their 2024 fully loaded uh, M4. Okay, so it's already got metal gears, upgraded spring, upgraded motor, um, definitely just a nice upgraded Gen 8.5 receiver uh, and gearbox in there. Okay, it is a Tian Gong uh, brand gearbox, which I do think is nicer than some of the other Gen 8.5 ones that I've seen out there, which I can't even tell you the manufacturer of those other ones. But if you watch a video, you can see that I um, have one posted where I opened this up and I showed you that gearbox and also did the spring change. So, of course, the spring upgrade is the same on these as it is on really any blaster. So what I did with this one is I had printed those 3D printed spacers for the springs. So I put that in there. So this was about 250 FPS. I put one of those in there. I think it probably changed it to maybe equivalent of about an M95 uh, spring. You know, that's, again, just my best guess. So we should see some better performance above and beyond that 250 FPS. Now, the way I've done this is, of course, no damage is done to the blaster itself. I still have all the original parts. Those can just twist right back on and be good to go. So really, I just combined two handguards with a nice clean cut and then reinforcement on the inside and then used some uh, metal barrels. Or actually, in this one, I used a PVC outer barrel on the inside. Again, just keep everything straight. There's stabilizers in there. Now, I was going to go to a longer metal inner barrel with this one. However, the T-piece on, uh, on these gearboxes here is slightly different than on any other ones I have. So it had no extra ones around. And the metal inner barrel on this one was definitely fused into that T-piece really good. Now, I could have tried to boil it off, but if that didn't work out, then I would end up with um, basically a blaster I couldn't use unless I got another one of those T-pieces. So instead, I kept the same barrel. So the barrel still terminates at the same length, right? So it terminates right about here. So obviously with this handguard on, you're not going to be able to use any sort of, um, you know, uh, threaded attachments, right? However, again, you can always switch it back to the other handguard, the original, and then you're able to. Just went with a nice grip down here. All right, we got some accessories, a little riser, and then some canted iron sight style sights on the sides. So overall, really cool. Also did a custom stock on this one just because I thought, why not? So this is a little different custom stock than I've done before. I did one similar once, but I changed this up so that it actually fit onto a buffer tube, where in the past it was made to go directly onto a receiver that had a, um, a buffer tube receiver, you know, that piece that sticks out. So instead I changed that up. So obviously there's a, there's a screw right here you can't see that holds this bottom piece in place. And then this is just the little hand screw that slides. So the top just slides off and then you can go ahead and access the battery. So that comes off like that, that slides your batteries back there. All right. And then just again, went with the, the desert sand there. So we're kind of keeping it desert sand and black overall pretty cool. I have tested it out. We are definitely seeing some improvements in FPS. So check back for that demo video and we'll do a demo. I'll shoot it. We'll see where the FPS is at. And that'll tell you how much doing one of those little spring pace spacers, um, you know, makes a difference, at least in this model. We can't really say that's definitively going to make that same FPS increase in all models, but it should give you a good idea. Comments, questions, post them below. Of course, like, subscribe, share my channel with your friends, participate in those monthly giveaways. Check out gelblastergun.com. They got a lot of awesome blasters and almost everything from them ships from the USA, so you should have it really fast.